Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss triploblastic organization. As you know that in animal kingdom, there are two types of animals. One of them are known as diploblastic animal. Such animals have two body layers, ectoderm and endoderm. While triploblastic organization, the animals including this group contain three body layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. During the process of development, after the formation of embryo, cleavage, then marula, then blastula, and then in the process of gastrulation, three body layers, three germ layers are formed. These germ layers are known as ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. These body layers, these germ layers give rise to different organs of the body. So we are going to classify triploblastic animals into three major categories. The first major category is known as A silomates. A mean no, silom mean body cavity. Such animals which contain do not contain any body cavity are known as A silomates. So we are going to discuss in detail later on in this video. The second category is known as pseudo silomates. If you look at the meaning of pseudo silomates, pseudo mean false, silom mean body cavity. Such animals which do not contain true silom are known as this they, they do contain a cavity which is known as cavity silom but that is not true why that is not true we will discuss uh, this in the end of the this video so such animals which which contain pseudo silom are known as pseudo silomates and the third category is known as silomates such animals which contain true silom are known as silomates now let's discuss these uh, categories of animals uh, one by one. So first of all, I am going to discuss A. Silomates. As you know that A. Silomates are such animals which do not contain any body cavity. The phyla which include in A. Silomate category are known as platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes are such animals which have, have flat bodies. They are dorsoventrally dorso compressed and their body is leaf-like like uh, planaria and liver fluke and the second phyla major phyla which which is uh, included in ace silomates is known as gastrotrica so i have taken an example of planaria which belongs to phylum platyhelminthes this is a flat worm and uh, i have taken a cross section of the body of the planaria right over here in this diagram as you can see in this diagram there is a outermost layer you can see in the black color this is the outermost body layer, which is known as ectoderm, which is present on the exterior to the body. While in the center, there is a digestive system, which is also known as gut. And this is the gut in the center, which is hollow, used for digestive system. And this digestive system contains a lining, which is known as endoderm. So the ectoderm is the outermost layer, endoderm is the innermost layer. In between these two layers, there is a mesoderm. And these this cavity is completely filled by mesoderm, which is sometimes called parenchyma or mesenchyme. Uh, this is a cellular layer and due to the absence of body cavity in these animals, these animals are known as a silomates. Now let's move to the second category of the animal, which is known as pseudo silomates. Pseudo means false, silom means body cavity. The, the phyla which uh, are included in this group are known as nematoda, which are round worms like ascaris, pinworm, hookworm, etc., phylum rotifera, and phylum kynorinca. So, I have taken an example of round worm which belongs to phylum nematoda. This is an example of ascaris, and I have taken a cross section of this animal. If you look at the diagram, the outermost layer of the animal is known as ectoderm, while the innermost layer is known as endoderm, which, uh, which surrounds gut. In between these two layers, there is a um, layer of mesoderm, which is uh, in the red color in the diagram. And uh, just between these two layers, there is a cavity, which is known as silum. So this silum is known as pseudocilum. Why it is not true, I will let you know at the end of the video lecture. So this, due to the presence of pseudocilum, these animals are known as pseudocilomates. 
so pseudocoelomates animals usually do not have vascular system like blood vascular system circulatory system they do not contain any skeleton they uh, usually contain hydrostatic skeleton due to the presence of silomic fluid in this uh, silomic cavity and the animals do not contain any segmentation so due to these characteristics these animals are known as pseudocoelomates now let's uh, discuss the last a group of these animal which are known as silomates after the phylum nematoda rotifera uh, all other phyla major phyla they are included in silomates because they contain true body cavity which is known as silum these uh, silomates uh, the phyla which include in this group are known as chordata hemichordata which are vertebrates phylum arthropoda phylum annelida so i have taken an example of uh, earthworm which is which belongs to phylum annelida and this its body is segmented and i have taken a cross section of the body of the earthworm if you look at the diagram of this animal the outermost boundary is known as ectoderm the innermost layer is known as endoderm which surrounds gut digestive system between these two layers there is a there is a mesoderm as you can see in the red color of the diagram this mesoderm is splitted into two layers the outermost layer of the mesoderm is known as parietal layer which which lines the uh, outer body cavity and the inner layer of the uh, mesoderm is known as uh, visceral uh, mesoderm the visceral mesoderm covers the internal organs of the body like digestive system circulatory system excretory system etc and between these two layers of mesoderm parietal mesoderm and visceral mesoderm there is a cavity which is known as cilium this is known as true cilium so that is the due to the presence of this true cilium these animals are known as cilomates now if you look at these two diagrams between cilomates and pseudocoelomates if you look at the diagram carefully the, this is the true cilium and this is pseudocoelom because this diagram do not contain any visceral mesoderm so only parietal mesoderm is present and the cavity is known as pseudocoelom but, but if the animals contain parietal mesoderm and then visceral mesoderm including with mesenteries and the cavity is known as true coelom and these animals are known as coelomates usually both of these groups they contain coelomic fluid in their body cavity which help them to give a proper shape of the animals and provide hydrostatic skeleton of the animals remember that coelomates usually contain most of the organs and organ systems in the body like they contain digestive system vascular system excretory system they also contain skeleton in upper classes and upper phyla they also contain their body which is segmented and uh, i hope uh, in this way you now uh, understand the concept of coelomates acelomates and pseudocoelomates and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye